The Japanese-ASEAN relationship has been arguably the single largest economic partnership in the entire Asia-Pacific. It is the entrance to the entire East and Southeast Asian region's trade and investment landscape. The two's bilateral relations are among the most important in the entire world. Data from the ASEAN Secretariat shows that from 2011 to 2020, Japan has, on average, had over 220 billion US dollars in trade every year, which makes it among the Southeast Asian bloc's largest trading partners outside the US, China, and the EU. Furthermore, Japan is withstood as a large source of foreign direct investments in the 10 nations. From 2011 to 2020, it averaged around $15 billion a year, with 2018 being an exception after it paved the way for over $26 billion. This likewise makes Japan not only a strategic partner for ASEAN, but also a source of growth in the region. So why is Japan investing so much in ASEAN? Before we move on, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe for more. Well, before we answer that, let us go back to when the ASEAN-Japan relations came to be. Japan and the Southeast Asian bloc have a very long history. This is even more true with each nation specifically. After all, their geographic difference isn't quite far off. But the original relationship started in 1977, when Japan became one of the ASEAN's first dialogue partners. But at that time, the ASEAN bloc wasn't much of fundamental strategic importance to Japan. Not only until the mid-1980s, when ASEAN's economic promise was emerging, which brought in a myriad of Japanese companies to vigorously expand operations with the ASEAN states. But this wasn't viewed as all that good. After all, after World War II, when Japan was coming into these nation states, they were viewed as Japan's intent to dominate the region. But come the early 1990s, the emergence of views on Japan started to shift. After the land of the rising sun has continuously done its part to help the Southeast Asian bloc in any way it can. This was so evident during the 1997 East Asian economic crisis. It was at a time when the economies and currencies of several Asian nations were falling, and Japan, who was viewed as a great economic power at the time, had to step up. It led to the establishment of the Chiang Mai Initiative, a currency swap partnership across East and Southeast Asia to alleviate economic damage and stop relying too much on the IMF. By 2002, then-Prime Minister Koizumi Junichiro called for the Japan ASEAN Economic Partnership to enhance growth and community building. This and the following policies and initiatives brought by the Japanese helped change the views of ASEAN on Japan and likewise change the economic landscape of the 10 nations. And since 2002, ASEAN has also been the largest destination of investment for Japan in East Asia, almost double that of its investments in China. The two shared culture, language, religion, beliefs, and most importantly, education, which was the backbone for ensuring that the youth understands and appreciates one another and further segmenting their alliance on the partnership. Today, the Japanese ASEAN bilateral relationship has stood and is rising annually. So besides its cultural and deep historical ties, what else are Japan's intentions for its investments? Well first, let's look at its largest investment destinations. According to the ASEAN Secretariat, Japan's foreign investments from 2012 to 2020 show that the largest bulk went into finance and manufacturing, two important industries. The first, finance, is presumably led because of the importance of Singapore, a strategic financial hub in the world. But further, we think that finance holds a strategic value because of its insurance and loan business, where Japan's export sector is largely held by its automotives, with finance as a way to complement and help engage the masses in ASEAN to afford these vehicles. Second, manufacturing, is again assumably because of Japan's labor costs and the importance of outsourcing in Southeast Asia. The bloc's manufacturing industry is on the rise, and with still low costs, this is imperative not only for Japan, but for the rest of the world. This also might be why Japan's largest exporting goods are machinery and equipment. In order to establish a base of manufacturing operations and ensure that productivity is kept at a high level. Certainly, the largest bulk of investments in their purpose aren't the only reason why Japan is withstood as an investment source. Its meaning goes very deep. But what we can be assured of is that Japan will stand as among ASEAN's most important partners.